Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sonic Chronicle. My name is Owen, and today we've got a new release radar review. Looking at this list of stuff here, um, we've got some cool stuff, um, some interesting stuff. Um, look, it's just going to be a bit, a bit of a weird one. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of stuff in here. We've got some Pearl Jam's Lady Gaga. We've already listened to Heavy as the Crown. Um, well, I've already listened to it in a completely separate video. Um, if you haven't watched that, maybe go ahead and take a look at that. Um, because I talk about the new song from Linkin Park with uh, Emily Armstrong um, after Emptiness Machine. This one was done for the League of Legends Worlds tournament, I believe. But yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff in here, um, like Surge Tankin. And yeah, there's there's loads of stuff. We'll come across it as we scroll into this. But for now, let's, let's listen to some Pearl Jam. Get out of here, Spotify. It feels like it's quite muted. Let's I feel like it's missing something energetic. Eddie Vedder still sounds great, though. Like, of course, he doesn't sound like he used to way, 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 way back. But um, he does sound great still. Yeah, it's a little bit lower energy than the other stuff that I've heard off Dark Matter. Um, yeah, it's it's not it doesn't have the same impact or the same appeal for me when they released this single. Twenty seventh September, but the album's already out, isn't it? Yeah, the album came out in April. Normally, like the releasing of singles from an album kind of slows down after the album came out. Yeah, it's grand. It's a little bit by the numbers. Oh, this is cool though. But it's probably just going to kick back into the chorus part again. Cool drum fill though. It feels really muted. Maybe that's just in, in my ears, but... If, yeah, it feels really muted to me. But yeah, this feels like it's it's very compressed. Very weird. What a weird sounding song. Very odd. Very odd altogether. Yeah, not I don't think that's for me. I don't like they've been doing well for a while there, but but I don't think that one is is for me. Next up, we've got Lady Gaga Harlequin. Now, this I believe is is that songs inspired by the the movie, um. So it's got like covers and stuff in it and the like. Um. Anyway, let's come back. Happy mistake by by Lady Gaga, from the album Harlequin, in relation to the movie Folie a Deux, um. The new Joker movie. Um, I don't think Lady Gaga has been hitting um, these days, really. Um, for me, like, it's it's like the old stuff that uh, she was good at. Like the old pop stuff. Like, I didn't like any of the stuff with Tony Bennett. Um, and I didn't like um, Joanne. Is that what it was called? Yeah, Joanne. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't think it was very good. Um, didn't like Cheek to Cheek. Didn't think it was very good. Art Pop was okay. It had a couple of... Like, half it was pretty good, from what I recall. Um, but what was the one before that? Born This Way, I wasn't mad about. Um, but, yeah, I loved The Fame Monster. That was really good. Uh, but I haven't listened to Chromatica. So that'll be something to, to maybe give a go at some stage. Anyway, this particular song is... Okay. Okay so far. Oh, now, Die With A Smile, Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars. Now, that's a song. If you haven't heard that, do yourself a favor and go out and listen to that. Beautiful vocals. Beautiful harmonies. Oh! I liked the vocal cracking there. Um, funnily enough, I thought that that was quite nice. Added a nice bit of texture to the song. 
I feel like this is the kind of song that you will hear people singing on American Idol auditions with a guitar. Um, but I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's great. It's fine. It. It's pretty pretty bland. Better produced than the Pearl Jam track, though. Nowhere near as compressed sounding. Which means that it's a problem with the track that we listen to, rather than a problem with you know, my headphones or the, the output or the like. Yeah, grand. Cool. Let's move on, Joanne. All right, let's listen to Cartoon Buyer by Serge Tankian. Because, man, I just love Serge Tankian's music. Big attitude about it. Oh, weird. Dude, it's so big. It's so theatrical in a lot of ways. The funny thing is that if you ever listen to him or watched him in an interview or the like, um, his voice sounds very similar. Like, there's an awful lot of, like, spoken word stuff in Serge Tankin's vocal style, I think. Um, rather than singing. But he's, he's singing in this instance, obviously. But uh, I don't think there's much difference between his spoken voice and his, his performing voice. I'm glad that he's working as well without the rest of the band. Oh, nice. I wonder, I wonder who his band is. That's just an EP, okay. Five track EP, okay, cool. I don't know what Truth to Power is, but I'm interested. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, as I say, I like Serge Tankin anyway. Um, I think he does does a great job. I think he performs great music. Um, and he gives out about stuff uh, via music, which I am uh, very much a big fan of. All right, we're going to listen to To Hate This Song by All Time Low and I Prevail. Uh, very different uh, vibe. Uh, to Serge Tankian in terms of his uh, your political opinions and the like. So let's go for some pop punk, you know, some very superficial pop punk. It's so boppy, man. It. Oh, wow, they dropped an F bomb! Oh man. It's so weird, right? Cuz it's it's got a weirdly dark tinge to it. It's not as bright as power pop or pop punk um that these bands have done before. And I I hesitate to call it a more mature sound because of the subject matter of the song, but it does sound that little bit more mature. Oh, it's it's sub 3 minutes as well. It, this is this. This is this is a bad song. I think. I think this is a bad song. That no one does a middle like that these days. Well, this took a turn. Was that my WhatsApp? It was. It was just a very strange timed uh, WhatsApp. What the hell? What the hell is with that? Like, it's still super boppy, but that was a weird interlude. It's a, it's a bit of nonsense, this. It, it's a bit fun, though. It's a bit of fun nonsense as well, you know? And sometimes you gotta have that. Uh, speaking of fun, no fun nonsense, let's listen to uh, The Darkness. The Longest Kiss by The Darkness. Is this from a new album? No, it's just a single. Okay. With Frankie on the cover. Oh, I'm getting... 
Mr. Blue Sky from this. And there's some, some country and some queen in there. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting, frankly. I'm just very confused. What was the last album that they released? Uh, Motorheart? Easter is cancelled? What a great name for an album. Can you see that album, mate? A buff Jesus breaking the crucifix. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, there's there's a lot of Mr. Blue Sky inspiration here. They've really leaned into it. I also feel like I've been listening to this song for longer than has elapsed, which is not a great sign, unfortunately. And that's a real pity. I normally like stuff that the darkness does. Yeah, this doesn't do it for me. This doesn't do it for me. This is not... A good darkness song for me. <laughs> Very silly ending. Um, yeah, that doesn't work for me. That does not work for me, unfortunately. Okay, let's do They're All Around Us by Poppy. I quite like this. I just love the feet just pounding. If you're not familiar with Poppy, this is kind of what Poppy does. New album? A oh, new album coming out in... 42 days. Okay, so November. Oh, and this is from the new album. Cool. But yeah, this is Poppy's shtick. Metal and pop. Normally she's a bit more off-kilter, though, than this. This is great. I really like this. In fact, I think that deserves the Son of Chronicle seal of approval, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm giving it early. This has the correct amount of attitude and intensity for me. While also the correct amount of musicality associated with it. And this is just a delightfully poppy uh, section. I know I'm not saying an awful lot. This is just a good song, man. I like that. Bringing in the vocals from both sides. Uh, doing an extra layer, an extra track underneath. I like it. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool little cool little transition. I like that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. That definitely deserves the Sonic Chronicle seal of approval, so it has gotten it. Uh, in case you missed it during the track, well, here it is again. There's the Sonic Chronicle seal of approval. Bam. Good on you, Poppy. Uh, we're not going to listen to The Ballad of the Witch's Road, uh, but I would encourage you to listen to that. Um, it's from uh, Agatha All Along, the new Disney Plus show. I'm not going to listen to it because, frankly, I would be flagged into oblivion um, if I even started to play that track, so we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to listen to Danzig, and I think that's probably where we're going to wrap up. Man, I like Danzig. Old Danzig is the thing as well, though. So, we'll see. It's just a new single. Just released for the heck of it. I say new, it's 13th of September. Where's the about section? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he was in the Misfits and Sawan. So yeah, yeah. This is an interesting sound. Oh, I thought that was Darth Vader. Hmm. I need this to be doing something a little bit more. I need this to get to a point. Oh, are we are we getting to a point? Not really, just doing the same thing again. I don't think this is really for me, unfortunately. Like 
I don't have mo anything to say about this song because it's just the same thing over and over again. It's real dirge. It's kind of boring. I remember reading a while back that like when it comes to open world video games, there needs to be something about every 40 seconds or so to keep people's interest um, in the open world and to want to explore it and to want to travel around it. And I feel like that same idea, maybe 40 seconds is a bit long, but I think that same idea could be applied to music and to songs as well, that there needs to be something new, something interesting within X amount of time in order to keep the listener engaged and interested in the song that they're listening to. Um, because this, this is not something that is particularly interesting or particularly intriguing to me. Um, I think that I've heard this song within the first 40 seconds, the first minute tops. Yeah, that's that's a little bit disappointing. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Um, a bit boring. A bit boring, Danzig. Um, pity. Pity about it. But that's where we're going to leave this release radar review for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by and for hanging out with me while we listen to a few tunes. Tunes that we listen to? Waiting for Stevie by Pearl Jam. We listened to Happy Mistake by Lady Gaga. We listened to Cartoon Buyer by Serge Tankian. We listened to uh, Hate This Song by All Time Low and I Prevail. We listened to The Longest Kiss by The Darkness. We listened to They're All Around Us by Poppy. And we finished up by listening to Black Hell by Danzig. Wow, we listened to actually quite a bit of stuff uh, this week. Um, the best stuff that we heard was Cartoon Buyer versus by Serge Tankian, and we heard uh, They're All Around Us by Poppy. And Hate This Song was something that was a little bit confusing for me, to be honest with you. Um, I might give it another listen and see if it grows on me a little bit. Um, but for now, Poppy got the seal of approval with uh, They're All Around Us. And there we have it for another episode of the Release Radar Review. Thank you all again so much for stopping by and for hanging out and listening to a few tunes with me. If you like what I do, please do uh, hit the like button on this video. Please do subscribe to the channel so that you can see more of my stuff being dropped directly into your subscriber feed. Um, and of course, leave me comments if there's anything over the course of this video that you disagreed with um, or if you have maybe a little bit more information on it. Like maybe you know that like perhaps the... Danzig's new project is going to be a concept record that you know Black Hell is a part of it and it's going to be super important. Maybe you know something like that. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below um, and I will be happy to reply to you. For now though, thank you again for stopping by and for hanging out and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.